So we're gonna be starting a new run. We're gonna be doing the Hand Ballista. Let's see, we have a preset. We've not done it in a while. We could do this guy. So we're gonna start Vagabond, because it kinda has a little bit of everything. The only things we're not leveling are Int and Arcane. I planned for enough faith for at least Golden Vow, but I'm probably gonna get like some healing spell too. Keepsake, we are gonna want... Actually, what do we... Are we wanting anything different? Probably still Stone Sword Keys. We need one more dex to use this thing, so we're gonna probably scavenge some, uh, some Golden Runes. Try and get one level. But there's gonna be a fair amount of setup to start. Oh yeah. The nice thing is we really don't need a lot of strength or dex. We need 20 strength to wield this thing. You have to two-hand it, so that's gonna increase it to 30, which is what it needs. 14 decks again, we're only one off of that. Oh, is it 30? Oh crap, I do need 20 strength then, don't I? That's a problem. We need a lot of runes. Might as well just go get the weapon now, too. We gotta go to Gelmir, because we need to get Ballista Bolts. We need the Explosive and Lightning ones. Regular ones, I, I don't know where you can buy them, and I also am gonna want to... Uh, get the ones you can craft. We, we pretty much are going to need like 80 of these things because maybe not early on, but like later on, we're probably going to need like all 80 to get through a fight. Reichard is going to be very painful. That won't be for a while, though. I think Reichard will be easy to hit. It's just he has so much health. Go get Torrent and then we'll head to the Weeping Peninsula and grab the Hand Ballista. There we go, golden rune hunting. You must be able to buy Ballista Bolts somewhere, maybe call I ask them, I don't know. I'll check. Negative. I think it'll definitely be an interesting start to the run. Like, figuring out the hand Ballista and how, you know, the speed of it and everything will be cool. But I think it's really just going to turn into, like, a great bow run. A little worse, maybe. That great bow run I did was not too bad. There were some pretty... Tough bosses, though, in the late game. I remember Malaketh gave me trouble. Radagon and Elden Beast obviously will be hard. It's mainly Radagon, not not so much Elden Beast. But we have issues there with just amount of Ballistas. So hopefully uh, it's not an issue. But we'll see. Then summon R, I, bequeath. Treat him with I am not going to treat him with respect. I will disrespect the hell out of him. No, I'm just kidding. PETA, if you're listening, it was a joke. We don't really need blue flasks for anything, because the only Ash of War you can put, have on this thing is Kick, so... It does upgrade with regular Smithing Stones, which I was surprised by, because the Jar Cannon is somber. Somber weapon. So I figured this would be a somber weapon too, but it is not. But we don't have to worry about infusion. It can't be infused with anything. None of the bows can. Which is very weird. I don't know why they can't. I feel like that changed with... Uh, I think DS2 you could. I think DS3 changed things. So, like, bows just didn't infuse with anything. It's actually another run we could do all bosses in New Game 4, but that will not happen here. Everything will be done in New Game Plus, and it'll be worse. Although the early game will probably be easier, arguably. I don't know, you could make the argument it would be harder, right? Like, I think the smart thing to do on these runs would be to, like, just beat the game and then come back to Limgrave and do all the optional stuff when you're, like, super strong if you're going for speed. And in New Game Plus, if you did that, it would be harder. Because you'd be using the same gear and, you know, plus 10, whatever. 25. So I remember I got a comment once, and it was like, you know, it would be more interesting if you did everything in New Game. And honestly, it would make more sense to, but that's just not how I have done these runs. I don't change, I don't plan on changing that anytime soon. But I don't think it would be more interesting. Maybe the start would, I don't know. If you, like, region locked it, I guess it would be. But, I mean, you could just literally just go do everything I do normally, beat the game, and then go back and kill all the easy bosses and just, you know, fill it in. And I don't think that'd be as interesting. If you treat it like the speedrun, the all bosses speedrun that I don't think anyone does anymore. But, you know, it's a five hour speedrun. I, I don't think it, <laughs> that anyone should try it. Well, that's not true. There are long speedruns out there. But perhaps it's not the most enjoyable. So hand bliss is up here. I think you get some great bolts to start, which won't matter for us because it's like five and it's not really going to help. We need way more than that. 
I should have looked up where to get uh, regular Great Bolts, because I honestly don't know. There's got to be a merchant that sells them. I know where to get the explosive lightning ones. I, I know how to make the the bone ones. Cool. And Ballista. Five Ballista Bolts. I love that. Five? Like, what are you going to kill with five Ballista Bolts? We need 30 and 14. Scar Seal would give us... Actually, you know what? The Scar Seal would solve all our problems, except for one level. Sword Seal, I mean, not Scar Seal. And then I'll check these merchants, too, to see what they sell. We can get a pretty early plus four. I'm probably going to get plus nine, though, and then do Market. Like, we're probably not fighting a boss for an hour. <laughs> Unfortunately. I don't have any bolts. That's the issue. At five, there's no way we're killing Margaret with five bolts. With a plus three. Not Eliza P. Enjoyer? I... I'll probably play it at some point. I don't know when, though. When it goes on sale, I guess. Also, is it even, like, out? I think it comes out tomorrow, right? I know it's like you can buy it for if you get like a deluxe edition or whatever, you get early access, but I, I refuse to do that. Are people liking it overall, though? I haven't really heard any uh, opinions on it. Just saw some streamer playing it. I've seen a lot of people playing it, like a lot of my following list has been playing it. I just don't want to see any gameplay and be spoiled. Sorry, review that highly recommended it. All right, where are we going? Off to the Dragon Barrow. It's free demo. I, I did see that, and I probably should try it, honestly. Hang on. Oh, use two, you idiot. I forgot I can just sell them. Damn, regular bolts. So we'll probably just go to Galmir, like, right away, and we'll talk to the merchant, get whatever we need. I need to find a Grace near there. I don't know what the closest one would be. Maybe, like, Volcano Cave or something. I also couldn't decide what armor I wanted for this, so I'm probably just going to want, like, the tankiest thing I can find. Well, go to armor, maybe. It should be a pain to get. That's the only issue with that. We also are going to want, like, a soul farm where I don't have to kill things. So I don't waste bolts on whatever. I'll grab this grace in case I need to come back here for something. I don't know what I would need to come back here for, but just in case. And then there's a graveyard over there. It's not many great runes there, though. I think I need one more strength. What do we need to level? 811, okay. So we'll pick some of these, huh? Pick it up. Eight and three. You know what, also, how many... I'm gonna get some memory slots. I don't think we're gonna be using too many things. Like, probably just Golden Vow and, uh, like, some healing spell. But we're here. Might as well pick this up. Like, how many do you have at the beginning? I have two. That's probably all I would need, but... Oh, maybe Flame Grammy Strength, too, would be good. This is like the one time. Well, not one time I'll ever use him, because we do have another Ballista to do, but you probably won't see me using these too much. They're good, and I just uh, don't feel like I need them, really. So I never get them. How do I get out of here? Where's the window? Where the <laughs> Where's the door? Or the window? Oh, here. All right. Go get the Source Seal, then we'll be good on Strength and Dex. I'll probably still get them to 20 and 14, so that I have to take more damage. I think most bosses will be fine, too. It's just, like, there's going to be some that are really going to be annoying to fight with this thing. This thing's also pretty damn big. So we'll have to do the Bell Bearing Hunter in the Urine, or uh, Limgrave, because you get a... Bell bearing that gives you beast bones for pretty cheap, I think. Well, actually, they're hefty beast bones. They probably aren't as cheap. And then we have to get... I can't remember where the cookbook is that we need for this. I think it's in the... It's, it's the Merchant in Liurne, actually. I remember now. Like, the first one... One of the... I, I think it is literally the first one in Liurne. Yeah. 
Oh, that's close. All right, what else do we want here? So we want to get, there's a couple smithing stones on that rock right there. Or I guess it's a skull. Is it a skull? I think it's a skull of some unknown creature. Very large skull. Or maybe it's just a mound of, I don't know, whatever this stuff is. And we can get another sacred tear and another golden seed near Celia. Oh, don't fall off. Now we're oh, dude, the spirit spring activates there too. That's sick. Like on the on the top there, because you could see the effect when I landed. Snag that. We'll touch this. Go into Celia. Anything else we're gonna want in Kaled? Maybe at some point, but I can't think of anything right now. We'll come back and do probably the tunnel or some smithing stone sevens later on. What? That hurts, really? Wonder if it just didn't register the first drop. Whoa! But I think we're good to get out of here and do the round table. I love how you're just in the ground here. Let my hand. All right. Oh, yeah, I got to put the uh, sword seal on. So we want to we need one more strength. Let me pop. Damn, I got a lot of golden runes already. Can't even. That's 600. That's enough. And then how are we doing on smithing stones? Nine. OK, we need three more of those. Put the Physigon too, or allocate it. Wow, I forget how to do that. <laughs> it's been too long. Oh my god. What was the last Elden Ring run? Um, don't have spells. We do want to allocate. We don't need any blue flasks. Oh yeah, I gotta level up. One strength. Two handing. We should be able to use this now. Are we good? We're good. Sick. All right. We got Dectus. I guess next we just want to get some bolts. Uh, we'll probably want to upgrade first, honestly. So I think we'll go to Lyernia. We'll get plus nine. And then we're going to go to Gelmir. And I got to find, I got to figure out where the hell to get regular bolts. I don't, oh, I can't even get the bell bearing in the tunnel because I don't need the bell bearing, actually. So we don't, maybe, maybe we don't do that. We can go through Ray of the Karia Crystal Tunnel, but we're not going to do the boss because how am I going to kill him with five bolts? Lyernia. Traveling through Lyernia just takes so long. That's why I hate doing it now, and I'd rather just fight Margit, but again, we can't really do that right now. We can get the cookbook from the merchant in Lyernia. And I think we have two twos now. It's usually only one. A little more leeway in the tunnel. Grab the sacred tear over here. Church of Erith. And then we just need a bunch of twos and threes. Fours we're not going to be able to get for a bit unless we go to the sealed tunnel. I don't actually know where I would get fours other than the, from the bell bearing. I mean, we could run and get it. We already got to go into Altus for Gelmir and just not do the tunnel. But the tunnel has fives, which would be nice. But we could memory of grace out. This is just one of those runs there where it'd be it'd be nice to be as strong as we can before we start fighting, because the fights are going to be slow as hell if we're not upgraded. Oh, hang on. I need the merchant. Where's the grace? Going to reset the area. He's got smithing stone twos and the cookbook. His ones too, apparently. Uh, and we need this. Oh, maybe he doesn't have Maybe it's not this one. Maybe it's the the one in Bellum Highway then. Okay. I thought it was that one, but I guess not. All I saw was it Merchant in Lyernia, so I don't think it's the one near Ray Lucaria, but it could be. Alien Tree Medallion we probably will want because we're most likely going to uh, have to go to the snowfield to get some eights. 
Well, I don't know. I mean, God Skin Duo with this might not be that bad. Maybe I'll hold off for now. I'll probably just get the Grace in case. It can't hurt. I always get to this point and then I'm like never sure where these smithing stones are. Because there's always just more like trees and stuff, but there's a gazebo. It should be right around here. Surrounded by lobster. There's a trick to not aggroing them, but I do not know what it is. And I'm probably not gonna, yeah, you know, rip. Alright, I'll take only one. Those things are scary, man. And then going through here, I'm, all, I'm like, I always get lost. Oh, no, we're fine. So we get this. We'll probably have to come back here later for the snowfield. Or for the medallion to get to the snowfield. I don't know, maybe we could uh, avoid the snowfield and just get like all the eights in Fair Missoula. Or enough eights, anyway. It'd be nice to have plus 25 for Godskin Duo, but with range, like, they're not as much of a threat, I guess. We literally traversed the entire lake <laughs> doing this. Pretty much, anyway. I wish I had the map and I, I could show it. Because there's, yeah, I can't even, it's not even worth showing. I guess we don't see the right side as much, but... We pretty much go through the entire left side and the top side. This is why I want to reroute this. There's got to be an easier way to do this part. They're actually, you know, that now that I think about it, there probably is. If I, if I skipped the threes over there and just got like the key here, we could just warp to like somehow get to Ray Lucaria, just take like some portals and then go in and then take the other door and get on the other side of the gate on the east side. And then go down to Sally Crystal Tunnel, or, or uh, Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel from there. Instead of, you know, running around the entire thing. It's still long, but it's probably faster. What are these things? Kukri. I was hoping there was a golden rune there, but... There is not. Huh, it's a grace here. I don't even know if I knew that. I'm not sure why I hopped off toward it. Alright, so we have ten, we need two more twos, eight more fours, threes, whatever. We'll get all that in the tunnel. We could kick the Crystallion to death. I think that would take a while, though. I can't even imagine how long that would take. I don't know, if it does strike damage, maybe not that long. And it's part of the Ballista. Not that we really need to stick to the Ballista in New Game, because we're doing everything in New Game Plus anyways, but I would like to. This is pretty much how we're going to start the Jar Cannon, too, except we're going to have to eventually get that in Gelmir. Indeed, it is Ballista in time. I have not fired this thing once, though, since I picked it up. And probably won't until I have more bolts. Like, the first thing I'm probably going to use it on is Margit, I imagine. We flat out just do not need that. Honestly, you can make a case for going no armor and trying to get blue dancer charm to boost your damage. I was planning on like the opposite, not using it. I'm just getting very tanky. I go the runs. Uh, all right, so far we just started this one like, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. Kinda. Not too far in, we're just kind of gathering things. Straight sword hilt was interesting. Kicking doesn't use FP, does it? Okay, good. We'll try kicking the Crystallion. It, it will probably suck, but it's all right. Okay, two more twos. There's, I think, a two here. I always forget if it's a two or a three. And then how are we doing on threes? Eight. Okay, I think we're good then. A lot of times I, I like, I'll come out of this one short of something and I don't know how I do it. I just miss a smithing stone somewhere. Stop. Got a bit of straight sword hilt versus some boss. Yeah, Asylum Demon. That was like a 20 minute fight. <laughs> that run is going to be rough. Much worse than this one. Well, if we die, I'm just going to leave because there's no point really in fighting this. It'd be nice to have the souls, but. Oh, God. I'm hoping he breaks easily. I mean, this isn't supposed to do much damage, anyways. So it's not really that surprising. This is basically like the straight sword hilt run, honestly. Once we break him, though, we can just probably stun lock him with kicks. I just don't know how long that's going to take. 
Oh, apparently not very long. Oh, that's still really bad. Um, let's not do this. I have the memory of grace anyway, so. Yeah, no, I'm good. Where's the lever? Oh, right here. Literally standing on top of it. Be fire giant, I'm impressed to Melania while making my way through fire Missoula. Impressed? I feel like there's a typo. And maybe not a typo, but uh, an impressed to Melania. Okay. Yeah, Melania's rough. Probably, probably the hardest boss for like most people on a first playthrough. Good luck. But you're getting there. You're almost done. All right. We. What do I have to do? Upgrade. We can. Up, we can go upgrade. Let's try. Almost got the second phase. That's not too bad though. I can't tell you how long it took me to get to the second phase of Millennium on my first playthrough. It was like hours. Alright, let's go to Gelmir, I guess. We can pick up Golden Vow on the way to then we have to run from Anastasia. She will kill me. I think I actually I don't even know where Golden Vow is. Like I kinda know where it is. I know the area it's in. Also, I don't know what happens with patches. I don't know if he moves if you hit Gelmir or not. I don't know that it matters. I, I, I want to see if I can do this quest, but we got to kill Tragoth, which is going to be awful. Like, any, any NPC fight with this thing is probably going to be terrible. Because they're just going to input read every shot. Like, Gideon's going to suck. All the NPC fights in the random dungeons. We got to do the Sanguine Noble to get to Ma uh, Moog. Oh, what? Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder how much damage that does. Not that I really want to fight things on a horse. But it's cool that you can, like, with melee with this thing. Gelmir first, I guess? And then we'll... Well, I don't know what we can get for ballistas. Probably not a ton with, like, what we have, but... Ritual Sword Talisman might come in handy. Although, I feel like we're going to get hit a lot, so maybe not too much handy. I think this thing has 600 AR. At plus 25, and we're actually like halfway there. Well, at plus nine, probably should have got some graces. <laughs> now that I think about it, I just kind of didn't pick anything up. I don't even know where I'm going. Second church, oh, hey, sacred tier. We can get that. No invader yet. Luckily, there's a grace on the other side of this bridge coming up. I think it'd be so nice if. Torrent just could not take fall damage. They can make traversal more fun. Because it, it, it's weird, too, that like he doesn't take fall damage off when you take a spirit spring. You're just jumping from a higher point. You're falling from a higher point, but it, you take no damage. It makes no sense. Um, Let's... You know what? No, let's go this way first. I think Golden Val's over here, isn't it? Isn't it in the Corpse Sense Shack? Where Anastasia invades? It's somewhere around here. I also gotta get a... Decent seal in case I want like some healing spell or something. Oh, I'm so dead. Is it here? Yes. Okay, now we gotta climb. I can't even remember. Like, is this a dead end if you keep going that way? I think it is. You've been timing your double jump at last possible second to avoid fall damage? Yeah, you can't. That doesn't work. <laughs> Unfortunately. I wish it did. It is. It's working. It shouldn't be. Depends on your drops too. Like, like if you drop from up here, you will die. But like some, you can survive. Like if I if I try to get on torrent here and jump down there and time it at the last second to not die, it won't work. Anastasia, just go away. How long will she chase me for? Can you quit out on an NPC invasion? Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was. Wasn't sure though. Dude, is she actually still here? I kind of want that. I want to see what that is. But I am not willing to go through that thing. Where's she at? Maybe she stopped chasing. I don't see her. Wait. 
Oh, no, that's not her. Where? Are they? I have no idea where she is. I think it's the left side we want. See her anywhere? Oh, there she is. Yeah, she won't go past that. There we go. So I need a grace up here somewhere. Probably Volcano Cave. I don't think there's a closer one. Actually, the one on the bridge is probably closer. Because this guy's got the goods. Welcome. Please. I'm, I'm hungry. So these... Oh, he has regular bolts. Okay, so he doesn't have lightning bolts. I don't know where you get the lightning bolts then. I gotta figure that out. 800, huh? Okay. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's gonna be 16k to fill up on those. We have 12 right now. What would be a good, a good rune farm? Or I don't have to kill anything. Well, I don't have to... I don't, don't have to fight anything, I should say. And honestly, I can't think of one. Nomadic Merchant in Altus for 160? Nomadic Merchant in Altus, wait. Really? 160? For lightning? That might be lightning bolts. Yeah, okay. So great great bolts will definitely be more expensive then. Because like great bolts are were 300. We can go to the bell bearing hunter and then we still gotta I gotta go to the other merchant in Lyurnia. I mean you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm gonna be there in like no time. I have no clue where I am right now. I gotta get back up there. Alright, hang on. Let me get, I'm gonna go from I'm gonna go from here. Oh, I really wish I got the... Oh, we have this one. That's fine. Oof, you won't be happy. I'm gonna guess 800. Mountaintops, huh? Okay. That does suck. I'm gonna have to stock up on those, though. Then, uh, when we get to New Game Plus... Like, when we, when we get Radagon, when we beat Radagon, I'm just gonna have to buy a bunch of them. And then we're gonna have to rush the mountaintops. That's the only place, huh? I think we'll be fine... Until then, though, with with uh, the ones you can craft and then regular and the explosive ones. Are they 800 or are they more? Oh, 500. 500 not bad. I just need to find a way to get runes without having to fight anything. Like, I think of one thing in Kaelid, there's that rolling ball that rolls off the map. I don't know how many it gives you, though. Let's go to the sealed tunnel. I think 20 bolts would be enough to get through Margit. I don't know about Godric. Godric's gonna be tricky because that wind attack he does, I think blocks anything I do. So I have to shoot him when he's not doing that. But we'll try Margit with 20 Ballista Bolts and we'll see how that is. Or maybe we do the Bell Bearing Hunter first. Probably won't be as tanky as Margit will be. I guess we can run through here and get all the fives and then just memory memory of grace out. And then I don't think we can really buy many fours. I mean, these aren't going to give me anything. Google says around 2K for what? Health. 2K. It depends on how much damage we deal to. So I might need to get explosive great bolts, which would. Oh, the ball. OK, sorry. OK. I can work with that. It's not great, but it's something. Like, I'll try to sustain it off of bosses and everything, but... Oh, I forgot the five there. Hang on. We just need something to get us going. 300 times 20, so that's 6,000 to fill up on Great Bolts and then another 16k. So, like, you're talking, like, 20,000, 22k for, uh, everything. Not everything. Well, you know, Great Bolts and Explosive Great Bolts. And then whatever Hefty Beast Bones cost. I don't think they're that bad, though. Isn't there one over here? Oh, there is. Uh, actually, I think it's everything in here. Get out of here. I kind of hate that we have to leave these runes behind, but I am not killing that boss. No way. Paul gives 1952 with that bust to rune accrual. OK, that's actually something else I, I didn't think about. We could get like an item that would help give more runes. We have to, the clean rot knights drop a talisman. There's probably like some armor that would work, too. And or a weapon. 
also silver pickled bellfoots, but I don't really want to farm that stuff. All right, let's go. Oh, I should have got the grace over here. And right, we'll kill the ball a couple times and we'll get some great bolts and uh, explosive great bolts. I need to figure out how to do this, though, and I'm probably going to die trying just because I have no clue how exactly the ball works. I know it chases you. I just don't know how to get it to go off the map. This is maybe not the best path to take. Or maybe it's the absolute best path to take. So I don't even remember where it spawns. I feel like it would be faster to spawn it and then run back than it would be to warp back. My loading times are not great. That's gonna kill me. Okay, so... Will it just keep respawning? How does this work? I don't actually know. I think I have to rest. I didn't see where it spawned either. I think we just hug the coast. Or like hug the cliffside. Hmm? There it is. Yeah, it's gonna one-shot me. I think I gotta be... I gotta run up it, I think. It's honestly not a slow load. Maybe we should just die to it. Or not die to it. Um, warp. Actually, we, no, it's literally right here. I always have to go a little farther than I think I do. More bolts. Let me. I'm gonna mark this grid. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Because you can, I think, there's a way to toggle, yeah, marked sites of grace. Are we going to go backwards? Hopefully not lose these to whatever is here that will one-shot me. Random dudes. Actually, there really isn't anything here, huh? Well, that's convenient. There were, there weren't there like a million guys? Oh, no, I, still, I see one dude there. That guy will kill me. And he will smile while he does it. Is this the right side? I hope it's the right way. I actually don't know. Oh, it might not be. I think it's down here. This is safe, right? Yeah, it's fine. I swear to God. Oh my God, I hate you. Also, I just bought explosive only. That's fine. Okay, I gotta make sure I go down the right side this time, or, you know, in the future. I can buy one more, uh... Great bolt. I'll skip for now, though. I need to see this again so I, I don't go down the wrong path. I need to, like, figure out which... Like, coming from the other side where I need to go. So I don't aggro anything, because I can't warp out now, either. Probably. Those guys can't climb. Hmm. Oof. Guy with a spear. That's not good. Can you get up here? From down there. Oh, so close. Probably climb this and do this. Yeah, okay. And then go behind all of them. Okay. So we'll go do the Bell Bearing Hunter, I think, first. I gotta remember to go to the Nomadic Merchant somewhere in the area. I don't know which one. One of them. And we want to go to... Gate Front. No. Here. Yeah, we'll have some interesting pathing in uh, New Game Plus because I'm going to try and get to these merchants as soon as I can, basically. And we'll do the Bellberry Hunter early as well. So this guy, hopefully we can just like stay away from. The Bellberry Hunter, if you're far enough away, just like kind of idles or like he'll start running at you. But fighting him up close just isn't going to happen, I think, with this. Hopefully this damage is good. I think we keep the bell bearing too in New Game Plus, so we don't have to kill this guy actually. Again, well, we will, but like not immediately. And I don't know what else is around here. I don't know if there are wolves around here or if it's just like wildlife. That could be a problem. Oh, that's not bad. Now I can move again. <laughs> oh my god, it's so slow. All right, dude. I'm worried he's going to hit the fence. 
Oh, we input reads. Great. Well, he knocks me out of the... Jesus Christ. That won't reach me, right? Hello. Two ninety, so that's almost actually like the entire AR, because I think we're at like three hundred, three hundred two. That's pretty decent. Little tumbleweed. Uh oh. Oh, damn, that healed my entire health bar. Margit's gonna be fun. I cannot believe I'm not dead. What's the, uh, what's this one deal? 339. Oh, that's actually better. Wow. Okay, great bolts are better. I think explosive bolts just have AoE, which is good. Okay, now we can get the hell out of here. We can see what it costs for heavy, hefty beast bones. Two fifty. I think you get five bolts from these. So that'll give us 25. We gotta go get the cookbook, though. I think that's all you need, too. I just think you need hefty beast bones. I don't think you need, like, any other materials, but I'm honestly not sure. Um, okay. I was, I was gonna say maybe we could buy some fours, but I don't think we can. Two is not bad, though. 250 for five. So basically, those great bolts, I think, are just, like, 50, which is good. Assuming... You get five for each bone, anyway. I don't actually know. I think that's what it is, though. I thought they'd be more expensive. But that's good, though, because I think, like, with 20, we should be fine. We should be able to kill, like, a lot of early game stuff. Margit Godric, maybe. Maybe not Godric. Godric's pretty tanky. So this guy, I think, will have them. Or the cookbook, I mean. Yep. Okay, so I need 2k. That is inconvenient. Actually, it's not that inconvenient. You don't want any Brother, I just want a cookbook. And I need the crafting kit. I forgot about that. Kale! My man, where are you? We actually finally killed something, though. Only well, took an hour and change. Crafting kit is 300, of course. I could have popped some of this stuff, too, getting Great Bolts. Killed the Snake Eyes boss. Snake Eyes Shirahagi. It's a fun boss. Uh, how do you craft again? Oh, it's here. <laughs> I forgot. Bone Ballista. Okay, so we can get 25. Good. And then, then, do we want to just throw those on in place of these, or maybe in place of these? Oh, they deal fire damage, okay. That's probably why it was dealing less. Okay. Let's go to Stormhill Shack, then. 